as we've been telling you, all the world's a stage. And even one of my friends that really kind of gotten out of the conspiracy business, he was like, yeah, I could tell the Nick Saban, um, Jimbo Fisher thing was fake. Well, if they fake that, what, what aren't they going to fake? And, um, I always tell you that it's always at this deeper level of the Bible and it's, you know, it's, you know, the bad guys are always God and the good guys are always, uh, Lucifer or vice versa. It depends on the narrative that they're trying to work at the time and, and Feinbaum's always using words like God smack or quoting the Bible, um, when he gets into these stories. So uh, everything gets really easy to sort of read after a while. So just check this out. This won't take but a second. Jimbo took it to another level when he got very personal with Nick referring to him as God and, you know, narcissist and... There you go. Which in their world, of course, they think our God, the God of the Bible, thinks he's the only God and doesn't realize he's a created being from the Gnostic Sophia and the Aeons and all that kind of stuff. It's See, these people don't worship Satan like what you think. They think that, yeah, well, you know the deal. It's all about the Mother Goddess, Queen of Heaven, Queen of the Universe, Lucifer, Isis, Astarte, Asherah, um... Which also Artemis, Diana, and Artemis, and that's one of the one of the names. And what was the rocket they just shot? Oh, it was Artemis. You know, I mean, you know, what can I tell you, folks?